Well, Joey was a premature twin, um, which is a hard start for anybody. And after birth, he developed a very serious pneumonia, which uh, on top of his prematurity made it impossible for him to breathe unassisted. Joey's brother, also premature, didn't get that uh, terrible hit to his lungs and so didn't have the same life-threatening condition at birth. We were born at 28 weeks um, and Joey just really struggled from the very beginning. His lungs were so badly damaged that even the breathing machine didn't seem like it was going to be enough and it didn't seem like Joey was going to survive. Thank God, literally, that, that Franciscan was around. Um, and when we brought Joey there, we really didn't know what his future was, you know. We didn't know whether he was going to make it. It was a long time. It was many months before people started to realize that Joey was not only very slowly making tiny gains as far as his lungs went, but he was starting to interact with people. He was starting to interact with his environment. And that was amazing. He was able to start gaining weight. He was able to... Uh, start sitting up, he started smiling, and started talking, he started uh, singing, he, he took an interest in books. And it made everyone um, on the medical team and his family kind of reevaluate what our expectations were. It was, it was Joey's home for three years and became an extension of our own home. Joey really settled in there and you know they worked so patiently and so carefully with him and um, they, they saved his life. Franciscan was a great place for him and they did so much for him, but we knew eventually, you know, he needed to be home. Ten years ago, there was only one kind of home ventilator available, and it was a ventilator designed for adults. And there had just come on the market a, a brand new portable ventilator that allowed um, kids and adults to come out of institutions and hospitals and be cared for at home. So Joey responded well to this ventilator, and then we had to negotiate the politics of having a new machine that didn't have a classification or a history or a discharge code or a billing code and try to get him home. What happens oftentimes is kids sort of get ahead of the systems. And the family really took that ball and they went to politicians and they went to the state house. We did a letter writing campaign. We got vocal about it. We started writing to newspapers. We, uh, we started doing an email campaign. We had a right to be together as a family. We, we tried to work within the, within the system and then when the system wouldn't push, wouldn't move, we took it to the papers and took it to the public. And as soon as the public found out, that's when people started getting angry. We contacted Senator, Senator Kerry, who, who was instrumental in pushing it through. And they got all that done. And Joey was the first child in Massachusetts to go home with that type of ventilator. You know, it's just sort of opened up a world for kids who are on ventilators who don't need to be in hospitals anymore because they're, they're able to be cared for at home. What we have in our house is a, um, a little mini skilled nursing facility. Um, so we, tr but we try to have a home that isn't um, isn't a hospital. So we have syringes in our dish drain, and we have an oxygen tank in a bedroom. But we try to make sure that um, their toys and the pillows and the couches are all out too. So it's it's, it's much more of a balance. Joey is a miracle. Joey has defined for some of us what a miracle is because he has survived beyond amazing odds. He's thrived against amazing odds and he has developed into a happy child. You know, he wakes up every day smiling and singing and laughing and wanting books and uh, asking for his favorite shows and, and he's so happy and he inspires inspires us and he inspires everyone who works with him. We think about our one son and we think about college and career aspirations, but with Joey it's as simple as we want to make sure that he's safe um, when we're not, when we can't take care of him anymore. To be honest, I, I often say that having a child with special needs is both a blessing and a burden. Um, and I think the blessings are that much better because they come from such hard work. 
what this family has done that is inspirational to those of us who have watched is that they have walked with Joey. They haven't tried to pull him ahead. They haven't tried to push him back. They haven't tried to create a path for him. They've walked with him. Think of y about yellow, you can think about blue. You can think about red, you can think about pink. Or you can think of a horse, or the think you can think. Or the things you can think up if only you try. If you try, you can think up a guff going by. And you don't have to stop. You can think about schlop. Schlop, schlop. Beautiful schlop. Beautiful schlop with a cherry on top.